going to learn about triangular prism, prism polyhedra. A triangular prism is a type of prism which is a type of polyhedra. Before we learn about triangular prism, let's first learn about polyhedra. A polyhedra is a 3D figure which has all the faces as flat surfaces and all, and all the faces are a polygon. That means none of the faces are curved. There are three types of there are three types of polyhedra. The first one is platonic solids. The second one is prisms, and the third one is pyramids. Today we're going to learn about the second one, prisms. A prism. What is a prism? A prism is a three D polyhedra which has congruent ends. That means the ends are the same size and shape. The rest of the faces are a rectangle. The second property it has is that it has the same cross section all throughout its length. A cross section is the shape you get when you cut the figure at a point on its length. The third property it has is that it is named, a prism is named by the shape of its end. Like if its end was a triangle, it would be named a triangular prism. Like we're going to talk about a triangular prism. A triangular prism looks like this. As you can see, its ends are congruent because this end is an equilateral triangle and this end is an equilateral triangle. And the rest of its faces are a rectangle. Like this face is a rectangle and this face is a rectangle and the bottom face is a rectangle. The second property it has is that it has the same cross section all along its length. So if we cut this triangular prism at the midpoint, our cross section is a triangle. And the last thing, a prism is named by the name of its shape. Like the end is a triangle, so it's named a triangular prism. Let me show you what I just said on the board. First, we have to make the triangular prism. First, we make a triangle. Then you put the ridge. Now you make the other triangle. We made triangles because they were the ends, the shape of the ends. Now we make the rest of the faces. Since we're not going to see this face, let's make this line a dashed line. are a rectangle like this face is a rectangle and this face is a rectangle and the bottom face is a rectangle the second thing it has is that it has the same cross section all throughout its length so let's see what is the cross section if we cut it right here well let's what is the cross section well let's find out The cross section 
fraction is a triangle. The triangle is the cross section. Now let's find out if it really is a cross section. So let's find out if it if we cut over here. Is it the cross section? Well let's find out. We get a triangle. So the triangle is surely the cross section. Another thing is that a prism is named by the shape of its end. So the triangular prism is named because its end is a triangle. This is the length of the triangular prism. Of a triangular prism. And this is the height of a triangular prism. Now let's learn about how many faces, vertices, and edges are on a triangular prism? This is the triangular prism. Let's first find out how many faces are on it. One on this end, one on this end, and three on the sides. That makes it have five faces. Now let's see how many edges there are. One, two, three on this end. One, two, three on this end. And one, two, three on the sides. That makes it have nine edges. Now let's see how many vertices there are. One, two, three on this end. And one, two, three three on this end. So that makes it have six vertices. Today we learned about triangular prism, prism, polyhedral. Thank you for watching this video.